Hello all, welcome to our YouTube channel, My Project Ideas. In this video, we'll be discussing a car game built in C++. So as far as the requirements of building this game is concerned, it requires Dave C++ editor or Dave C++ ID and a C++ programming language installed on your system with all the GCC, GCC compilers and all the libraries installed with the Dave C++ editor. <clears throat> you can either use Visual Studio Code or any Turbo C++, <clears throat> but in Visual Studio Code, it will give some uh, <coughs> technical errors. <clears throat> That's why we'll use Dave C++ to build this particular game. <clears throat> so with that being said, let's get started and have a look on the code of this classic gameplay of a uh, car in C++. So this is an entire C++ program to build an application of car game. My compiler is TDM GCC 4.9.264 bit release. Initially, we have included all the necessary modules, which includes iOS stream, Conio, DOS, Windows, time. As we'll interact in real time, so we need to <coughs> include this time variable, time library, in order to, <coughs> which helps to, in to interact with the <coughs> real time scenario. And we have defined some macros. Uh, macros means uh, the global variables will using these variable values throughout the program as screen width as 90, screen height as 26, and win, uh, win width as 70. So throughout our entire program, we'll use these variables and the values of these are fixed as they're defined in a macro. <clears throat> Next, what we have done is we have created the variables or arrays of enemy Y, enemy X, enemy flag, and car. You just need to protect your car from the enemies coming continuously. So these are... Uh, Car, see a car of it is a 2D array. It's a car of plus, and it will it will shape into a <coughs> plus plus instruction sort of car. And the continuous enemies will come, and just you need to sh save your car from that enemy or save your car from another cars. Then we have uh, uh, then we have created the functions to read the coordinates. Uh, for example, to go to x y set cursor. For example, you will use a uh, to move your car as right uh, left. And you will use D to move your car as right in the keyboard settings. So when I will execute this particular game, uh, you just need to, yeah, the instruction will pop up. You just need to interact with this uh, classic C++ program to play the game. Then we have included the set cursor uh, function. We have built a set cursor, uh, set cursor function uh, as uh, <clears throat> you need to just uh, to just interact with the cursor and, and to interact with the user. Then we have get, uh, we have draw the border that sort of a widget. We have included all the size and all the necessary details that a user interface would pop up as you enter, as you hit this particular program as in on a run button or the, like this particular C++ program will execute accordingly. So that a widget will pop up where you will see uh, where, uh, instructions and to various process to start the game. So next you just need to uh, shift your car in uh, in right or left direction through A and D functions, A or D, uh, A and D keys. So you just need to move your car as left and right through A and D respectively. Next, if it uh, it's like enemies will continuously come in the form of stars, uh, means it will be a pattern of stars coming as the enemy. You just need to protect your car from that particular enemy continuously coming. So uh, we have created all the functions. That, for example, if your car touches an, uh, uh, any enemy, so we have uh, a reset enemy, the game will exit. So you just need to protect your car from the enemy coming. Enemy will be the uh, continuous pattern of stars to uh, interact with the user. And once your car, once your car will once your car will uh, collide that enemy, you need to erase the car. You need to just put your car into the uh, no, again starting position. The game will be exited after your car hit any enemy. So we have done all the collisions part. Collision function is coded. And accordingly, once your car will hit or collide that particular enemy, then it should resize the position. It should come again to the center. So for that particular thing, we have coded out in collision function. So accordingly, we'll use this, this function to reset our car position. And next we have just done an instructions part that as you will hit, uh, enter hit button, 
Uh, so these will be the uh, uh, as will be as will be hitting the run button. This program gets executed and will be getting all these instructions that uh, avoid cars by moving left or right. Press A to move left. Press G to move right. Right. Press Escape to exit. Basically, uh, to make it the more uh, to make program more interactive, we have just created this particular menu, and you will uh, you will maintain a score of uh, how many times you are able to protect your car from that com coming enemy of stars. So you will get the score value also. So it will be up updated in the real time scenario as we have imported that time function, import that time library. So with uh, the number of times you will protect your car from your enemy, your score gets more in uh, more uh, increasing. So you just need to uh, think of that. Your main objective is to just to protect the car from different enemies. Then next we have an user interface menu that is self understandable as you can see that you just need to press a for left press d for right and press any key to start so if accordingly if car uh, goes to the right position then accordingly enemies will come from right if car goes from left position then accordingly enemies come from come come from left so continuous random enemies will come and you just need to protect the car from colliding with the enemies so this is an entire C++ program. Accordingly, your score will also get updated as you can see that. Uh, so let's hit this run button and let's execute it. And let's the, this let's play this classic game of car. So let's execute it, compile and run. Error zero, warning zero. So here it is, our executable file, car game, start, uh, press one to start game, press two to instructions, press three to quit. So let's have a look on the instructions first. Uh, so these are the instructions. Avoid cars by moving left or right. Press A to move left. Press D to move right. Press escape to exit. Press any key, any key to, back, uh, to go back to the menu. So I'm going back to the menu again. So select option again. So uh, let's start this game. As, as the moment I'll uh, click one, the game will start. Different enemies will come. You just need to protect your car from that enemies. So let's see it. You, you can use A and D to uh, move your car to left or right. You just need to maintain this high score. The more number of uh, uh, you, need, you need to just avoid your collisions. The more number of you will avoid the collisions, you will get the maximum score accordingly. So let's start the game. Move, uh, keep your fingers on A and D and let's play it on through the power of C++. Let's play a game. Here it is. Press any, D, any key to start. Um, just avoiding to collide my car with the enemies of stars coming. Oh, I'm colliding. Shit. I am out of the game. Let's play it once again. Press any, any key to start. I'm starting. Here it is. I'm just, I'm just avoiding the collisions as you can see that. I'm just avoiding the collisions. Oh, it's my window. Yes. Let's play it once again. So as you can see that this is a classic game in C++ we have built. You just need, need to press A and D to uh, move your car as left or right. You just need to see as you can see here score variable. Score is increasing as we are avoiding the number of collisions. Just put an eye out, eye out here. Score is increasing, score is increasing. Come on, let's do it. Let's play this classic C++ game. Oh, I collided. Let's keep it once again. Let's start once again. As you can see that continuous en enemies are coming. My highest score is 23, I guess. Let's play it once again. Oh, so guys, this was an, isn't it interesting? Through the power of C++, we have built a classic car game and you, you have just created a game in C++. Bingo. In our, in our childhood, in which we were playing the games, we were not knowing the mechanism. Now through the power of C++ and programming, we have created a self. Uh, self. We have created a game from our ourself, from the scratch, through the power of C++. So guys, I hope you liked this video. Please do subscribe to our channel, My Project Ideas, in order to get some more interesting stuff in technical domains. Thank you so much, guys.